talk about this Ruger takedown again. You've got really padded edge. The, the top and the bottom of the bag are padded. And then uh, these inside pouches or whatever you call the pockets are also padded. So there's padding here. And then with my hand inside there, there's padding here. In fact, even these outside pockets are padded. Now, I keep complaining about Chinese bags, and that's not just because I like to vote with my money and keep my money here in the U.S. It's also because these materials are not good. They suck. Uh, this foamy junk that they use to uh, pad this works for a while. Works great. And then after it kind of dies, you know, it squishes and just doesn't come back, then I might as well have, you know, a piece of paper towel there. It's not doing anything after a while. So this bag will last, but it'll have a very short lifespan if you actually use the bag. Plus this really shiny, like, cheap nylon that they use in China will eventually tear. The front side, as I mentioned, is a really sharp uh, blade, which is great for fine-tuning, you know, when you're shooting at a target. It's great for accuracy, but it's a little sharp blade. And eventually that is going to tear this garbage material. It's just enough texture of the material to uh, catch. You can hear that. I do like how the whole rifle can sit on one side. However, it's kind of dumb that they give you this big pocket. It would have been a lot handier if they gave us two pockets down here. Uh, because, you know, knowing that the whole gun can fit on one side. It ships with the receiver over here. I'm betting a lot of people are just going to assume that they expect you to put the rifle over here and the barrel over here. So... Whatever. Uh, it does have this little notch here. I didn't mention it in the other video, but I saw somebody else's review, and it, you do have this notch here so you can use it as like a shooting uh, rest. Again, I can't say enough about how much I like the look of the bag. Only two things or a couple of things I change is make it in America, make it with American materials, and then put a piece of Velcro here instead of their darn logo embroidered on there. Otherwise, being black and being in this configuration, perfect bag if you live in an apartment or if you're going to be using it as like a bug out bag or a, you know, a, an emergency situation. Carrying something like this, which could carry everything from your hearing protection to your spare magazines, to your ammo, to a firearm, to more, uh, you know, everything you'd need to defend yourself or maybe hunt, uh, you could carry in a bag that really just looks like it could be, you know, any kind of electronic device or maybe even a camera, you know, a tripod or something. And if they've made these bags in the U.S., now somebody who makes U.S. bags consider a design like this because, you know, it would be good for a tripod, a couple of cameras, uh, you know, stuff like that that's a little bit too big for uh, this type of bag sometimes. But, you know, great form factor for the car. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.